Hi, this is Ben with MakeUseOf.com. Today we're going to show you some tools and methods to figure out what's using bandwidth on your network. Now, if you're not familiar, bandwidth essentially refers to the amount of network traffic that your network is capable of handling. So even with a fast connection, if you have several devices that are using a lot of bandwidth by streaming Netflix, downloading files, and doing other work like that, you might experience slowdown on your network. So that's why our first tip with bandwidth usage is, if your network seems slow all of a sudden, the first tip is a little low tech, but you should consider what's going on on your network. Um, perhaps your kids are playing a video game online on their console, maybe you're using BitTorrent to download something, maybe you have someone streaming Netflix in a high resolution on their TV or, or phone. Think about those use cases and think about who's on your network and what they're doing that's legitimate and you might be able to figure out why your bandwidth is dropping without doing a whole lot of work. If that doesn't work, we have some other tips for you. So the first tip is actually the most broad because it lets you see what's using bandwidth across your network. And for this tip, you'll want to log into your router. Uh, if you're not aware of how to do this, check out the linked article in the description that'll show you how to find your router's IP address and how to log in. For a lot of people, your router's IP address will start with 192.168 and then it changes from there. Dot one, dot one is common, but it might be dot one hundred, dot one for you. Check out the article for more instructions. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see a different interface depending on who makes your router. So we can't give exact instructions here, but look for something like devices or network status. On that page, you'll see probably a list of devices on your network, like you can see in this example here. And depending on your router, you might be able to see how much bandwidth each one is used, or which one is using the most bandwidth over the past hour, or something like that. And you can take a look and see which devices are sucking up the most bandwidth on your network. And once you've done that, you can use those steps to continue with the troubleshooting we're about to look at. Now, you might want to look here and see if there are any devices that you don't recognize. Um, hopefully, they're all, you know, your family's phones and smart home devices and things like that, but it could be a device that you don't recognize. Um, perhaps someone has broken into your network, or maybe you have some malware, which we'll look at shortly. Um, you can use this page to kick off any devices that you don't think should be on your network, and it's easy to add them back on later if you kick them off by accident. Once you've looked at the devices and figured out which one you think is the problem, if it's a Windows device, we recommend opening up the Windows Resource Monitor. And to do this, just open up your Start menu, start typing Resource Monitor, and you'll find it right in there. Now inside the Resource Monitor, you're going to want to jump over to the Network tab to see network activity. At the very top, you'll see the processes on your computer that are using network activity. For our purposes, you want to click on the total bytes per second or the receive bytes per second to sort by which ones are using the most network. Now, as you see here, we can look at the processes that are using our network and figure out uh, what's the culprit. So Mailbird, Google Drive, Chrome, these are processes that we expect to use a lot of the network because we're sending email, we're syncing files with Dropbox or Google Drive, we're browsing the web with Chrome, obviously. So this isn't really anything out of the ordinary. You can drill down a little bit further and see the open connections that you have and how much latency they're using or how much latency you're experiencing on those connections, rather. This might not tell you exactly what's using your bandwidth, but you can use it to kind of review the connections on your computer, and you might forget, oh yeah, I had that Team Viewer connection open, or oh yeah, I left Spotify streaming in the background, or something like that. Um, if you don't see anything out of the ordinary here, then you can move on to uh, a next step. Now, the linked article uh, accompanying this video talks about a Windows tool called Netstat. If you open up the Windows command prompt by right-clicking on the Start button and choosing Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell, if you see that, and type netstat-o, that's the letter O, not a zero, you'll see a list of connections uh, that your computer is connecting to, with the address that your computer sees them as, their uh, actual address, and then their process ID. Now, this information is essentially the same as what you get uh, with the Windows Resource Monitor, so for most people, we recommend just using this tool to take a look, but this can let you see, like we talked about, which processes are using the most uh, resources. You can also cross-reference this PID, that's process ID, with the Windows Task Manager. You can open that up with Control Shift Escape, or by right-clicking on the Start or the Taskbar, excuse me, and clicking on Task Manager. Once you're there, if you head to the Services tab, you'll see a list of services running on your computer, and you can cross-reference them using the PID here with the one in the resource monitor or the netstat command prompt output. Now again, hopefully you recognize all the services here. If you see something you're not sure about, um, don't just kill it without knowing what it is. It's, it's good to Google it. Uh, just type the name into Google, see what it is, and then you'll probably be able to figure out pretty easily if it's legitimate or if you have some kind of problem. Speaking of having a problem, the next step we recommend, if you're still having an issue with bandwidth at this point, is to scan for malware. 
So hopefully on your computer you have Windows Defender or another antivirus. Um, if you don't, we recommend installing Malwarebytes. The free version will do just fine. Um, install that on your computer and then you can run a scan to see if there's anything funny going on. Um, different malware behaves differently, but a lot of the time malware will um, be phoning home in the background or it'll be um, driving clicks to phony websites to try to make money off of ads and things like that. So in the background, you might have malware wasting your bandwidth and searching with malware bytes on the affected device uh, will help you rule that out. So again, like we talked about, the first step will let you kind of see which devices are using your bandwidth, and then you'll need to follow these steps um, probably on more than one device on your network um, to isolate the one that's using your bandwidth. Now, the last tool we want to talk about is CAPSA. Now, CAPSA is similar to the re Windows resource monitor that we talked about, but it's much, much more advanced. So you'll find a download link to CAPSA in the linked article. Um, there is a free version that has some limitations. You don't need the enterprise version. Um, for your purposes, this will work just fine. So once you uh, install CAPSA, you'll see a message about the free version. You can click away from that, and then you'll see this screen. Uh, once you're ready to move in, go ahead and select the adapter that you're using, uh, which for me is Wi-Fi 2, and then at the bottom, make sure you have full analysis selected and then click start. Give it a second and it'll analyze the data that is running on your machine. Um, you can choose to see whether you only want secure content. We'll say no here because we want to see everything. Then once you're in this uh, panel on the left side, expand the Protocol Explorer, and then you want to select your uh, adapter type, which right now uh, is called as Ethernet 2, and then select IP. You don't have to drill down any farther than that. Once you're here, switch to the Protocol tab at the top, and then make sure you have Mac endpoint selected at the bottom. Now here you'll see all the different resources on the network that your computer is connecting to. If you double click on your computer's uh, IP address in this list, you'll see a, a list of connections of everything that your computer is connecting to. Now as you can see, this gets pretty intense, so if you're not super into networking, um, this might be pretty overwhelming for you. But if you want a more advanced tool than what the Windows uh, Resource Monitor can provide, then this can be a handy way for you to see what's going on in your network and really drill down um, to what's going where. Uh, so in summary, when you're having a, a bandwidth usage problem on your network, it's first best to ask what's using my bandwidth. Think about it practically. Um, is someone downloading? Is someone streaming a movie or playing a video game online? And then from there, you can use your router to drill down into what devices are using the bandwidth. And then on those devices, you can use the tools that we've talked about here to analyze it. Um, in most cases, it's a legitimate use of bandwidth, just sucking up a lot of resources that maybe you're not aware of. Um, and if you really have a problem, restarting all your devices and restarting your router is always a good step too, just in case something got carried away. That's going to do it for this video. We thank you for watching and we hope that this helped you. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to Make Use Of. We post tech tutorials and tips like this, as well as reviews and giveaways of the latest tech. And we will see you in the next video.